one of the main attractions crossing the block at this year's 2024 Mecham Glendale Auction is this, a radically customized 1969 Ford Torino Talladega known as the GPT Special. And with me is the consigner Wayne Carini, of, that host of Chasing Classic Cars. Wayne, you have chased and caught an incredible Ford here. I've been very lucky to be the owner of this car for several years now. This was built by uh, George Potit and Troy Topanier built the car for him. I first saw the car when it was at SEMA and it was in bare metal. Um, and then I saw it when it was painted. I fell in love with it both times. And then to see it at George's uh, facility in Mississippi, I fell in love again and uh, we worked the deal out and I own the car but I am uh, trying to fund uh, my, my uh, autistic daughter's trust, and this car is one of the cars that we're selling to do that. So um, it's a really special car, lots of horsepower. As you know, Troy, is he wants horsepower in his cars. And, uh, and when Troy builds something, he builds it his way, And uh, but he's done a great job with this car. This is, has a Boss 429 engine in it, making 750 horsepower, stacker injection, um, and just a beautiful thing to look at. I'm, I'm into all sorts of different things. One of the things is welds. I love the welds. Um, they're just so beautifully done. Special hose clamps. Every piece of this car was made and, and there's no other car that has the fasteners or anything on it but this particular car. Now that craftsmanship carries over into the interior. Wayne, what are some of the standout features here? Well, George wanted a NASCAR for the street and he got it. Um, it's just all simple. There's no carpeting in here. Everything is, is the, the aluminum. Um, and then of course, all the great fasteners. It's got the Holman and Moody gauges, um, five-speed transmission, and it's all business. There's the key, all business. The pedal box down here is, is exposed so you can see the reservoirs and all the pedals. It's, it, it, it's a working vehicle. Um, the way it's stretched. So there's not a piece of this vehicle that wasn't reworked. The, the roof panel's original, but everything else has been either stretched or widened. It's got this great exhaust uh, exit over here on the side. The exhaust comes out and it is loud and I love loud. The wheels are very special to this car too. They're so wide and they're tucked up underneath and which l makes it look lower to the ground. But Ford created this beautiful shape for NASCAR, really. Um, so the air would go over the car and push down on the rear. It's got this little ducktail spoiler on the back, um, which really fits in well. Of course, keeping to the Torino and to the NASCAR features, they, the taillights are, are totally look original, although they've all been remade. Um, it's got a beautiful fuel cell in here. This started uh, as, a, as a block of aluminum, a regular fuel cell down here, but the cover, billet aluminum, uh, all reworked. So every aspect of the car, you, you could look at so many things, look all the holes in the trunk to lighten. I mean, this, this car is very special in every particular way. And, and you can, every time you look at it, you can find something new. And Wayne, fill us in a little bit more on why is the time now to let it go? Well, you know, we have an autistic daughter, my wife and I, Kimberly, she's 35 years old and we needed to buy a house for her to be able to live in after we're gone. So uh, we did that and uh, this car is gonna be able to fund that. This was in her trust. And now of course we're gonna sell it and, and, and pay for the house. So it's a very special car to me, but Kimberly's more special than the car. Absolutely. And you know, one of the other fascinating aspects about the car, Wayne, is it is a true showstopper. You mentioned its presence at some of the top automotive events, but a lot of people might recognize the car from some movie use. What films was it featured in? So it was in Fast and Furious 7 and Fast and Furious 8. Uh, Vin Diesel sat in the car and it was used in some of the scenes with Vin Diesel there. So it's got that aspect too. So it's a showstopper, good guys winner, SEMA winner, as well as a movie set winner too. Well, it's one of a kind, Wayne. Thanks for all the details, man. Thank you, Matt. I know I am looking forward to seeing this thing cross the block. And if you want to get all the information on this one of a kind build, head over to Mecham.com.